Magnesium is used to break down sugar and there's a lot more sugar in our diet. So why is magnesium good for the heart? <laughs> yeah, so um, the, you know, the first thing to say is I think magnesium is a vital mineral in the body and it is required for so many different body uh, functions. Uh, the second thing to say is it has some natural properties which are very good. Number one, it is a, it dilates the blood vessels. Okay, so because it dilates the blood vessels, it makes it easier for blood to get to where it's needed. Because ultimately, what is the body? The body is simply a machine. It needs fuel. And if you can do anything to make it easier for the fuel to get to where it's needed, it's always a good thing. Mm. So magnesium has that property. Not, not dramatic, it doesn't do it dramatically, but it does it at a small level and that's good. The second thing to say is that magnesium is an anti-inflammatory, uh, which means it, com it is a natural anti-inflammatory agent. The third thing to say is magnesium is probably a very mild anticoagulant as well. It just thins mm -hmm. the blood ever so slightly. These are the biochemical properties of magnesium. Yeah. Um, I think it is true to say that a large proportion of the population are deficient in magnesium. Uh, this is, even in America, they say three quarters of the population are deficient in magnesium. The problem is there is no easy way to measure magnesium levels because the blood test doesn't tell you exactly the full story with the magnesium. You have to do something called a red cell magnesium, which is very few people do. The other thing is that it can transiently change. So if you hyperventilate, you become relatively magnesium deficient, etc. What I found was um, I found that a lot of people who were getting skipped beats, if you gave them magnesium, they came back and they said, actually, I feel a lot better. Wow. Um, I then went and looked up some research to try and find it. The problem is there's not much research being done. Magnesium profits, no one profits from magnesium. It's right? cheap. Yeah. It's cheap. No one's going to gain any money. So there's no big research studies. But I did find one study in America, in Brazil, where um, they took a bunch of people who had skipped beats and they randomized them to magnesium or placebo. And they studied what the patient said. And I think the skip beats, if you just looked at the ACGs, got less in about 78%. But actually, the patient felt better in about 90%. Okay. And, I, and I guess the more important thing is how the patient feels. You, if you feel better, then that's the agent doing its job. What is very interesting is a lot of people then go to their doctors and their cardiologist says, well, there is no evidence for the magnesium. And I say to that, actually, what evidence do you need? You take it, and mm. it's not going to cause any harm. And if you feel better, then that's the only evidence you need. It doesn't really matter whether it's been studied in other people, because when it comes to quality of life, it's about you. It's not yeah. about what research has been done on other people. It's how you feel. It's yeah. how you feel. So with magnesium, I always say that try some magnesium at at therapeutic doses. Obviously, I would recommend speak to your doctor first, make sure you have no contraindication. But generally, it's much easier just to try it. Mm -hmm. And if you feel better, then it works great. And if you don't feel better, what have you lost? Yeah, I've been recommending magnesium for years for its anxiolytic effect. People really do feel calmer mm -hmm. on it. And Absolutely. They sleep better at night. You they know. sleep better. It takes away night cramp as well. Mm -hmm. um, and it just, yeah, absolutely, I agree. I think, I think it's done really remarkable things for a lot of my patients. There are some things that can rob your body of magnesium, aren't there? So for caffeine, is it, or soda drinks, stuff like that? Yeah, I can talk you through this. The first thing is there is less magnesium around because of the processing that goes on. So we take in less magnesium. Mm. The second thing is that we absorb less magnesium because a lot of people now take PPIs, proton pump inhibitors. For stomach acid. Stomach acid. Yeah. Stomach acid yeah. And that actually stops you from absorbing magnesium. The third thing to say is that we lose a lot more magnesium. Why? Because magnesium is used to break down sugar and there's a lot more sugar in our diet. Okay. We drink a lot more caffeine and diuretics that deplete us of magnesium. Stress uses up more magnesium. Mm. Lack of sleep uses up magnesium. And we do all those things. And so they're vicious cycles, aren't they? Yeah, you know, absolutely. Just, yeah, it goes around and around. Absolutely. And a lot of anxiety, anxious, you know, particularly with anxiety, you know, when your body's going through so much, you've got all this kind of stress, the adrenaline, the lack of sleep, all that. Sometimes just taking a bit of magnesium orally can help with that. 